Shavers, what's going on? Uh, Brian Yost with Yost Shave back again with my first hardware review. I am here with the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Double Open Comb Ascension uh, adjust Twist Adjustable Razor. This is it right here. Um, this is the first purchase I've ever made from PAA, and uh, so I actually went in depth, did a lot of research. Uh, I know there's been quite a lot of talk about it on some of the forums I've seen. So I figured I owed it to everybody to kind of do a review, let you know my thoughts of it, and overall, is this worth buying or not? Uh, let's get into it. This is 7075 CNC machined aluminum. This is the same thing that is used in aviation, and um, I think I quote Doug when he says, if it's good enough for the aviation, it's good enough for us. You know, I'll trust his judgment on that. I mean, if we're making planes and shit out of it, then yeah, I would assume it's probably some good stuff. Also, if you were to compare this to a different aluminum, say one that's like a 6061, it's a lot softer, it's not as durable. The 7075 really makes it a hard piece, real solid. Just it's crazy how light it is, but yet how solid it is. And it is definitely the most unique looking razor I have in my collection. Let's be honest, I bought it based on looks alone. You know, all his twist adjustable stuff I thought sounded cool. But ultimately I bought it on design. My eyes bought it. You know, kind of you eat with your eyes. I guess you kind of buy with your eyes too. Um, but let me go in depth about it just a little bit on the specs. At the starting blade gap, it's 500 microns. The complete razor approximate weight is 33 grams or 1.16 ounces. The handle approximate weight is 24 grams or 0.85 ounces. The handle length is three and a half inches, which I also wanted to mention. He pointed out that it is called a um, a bomb tip handle. He said he was inspired from the Gillette ball tip um, and he said due to his lack of time and trying to come up with a clever name for, for this he calls it the pinky throttle because it's supposed to help with I guess holding it in control but I will say just based on the balance and the maneuverability this thing is just it's I was impressed. The control is very good on it. It would have been helpful if I read the directions because the way the twist works is they actually put a little bit more of a actual it says three piece they put a little actual more curve on the top cap and the plate which causes that blade when you put it in there it causes it to spring and that spring action is what helps it turn to a twist you've got about a quarter turn where that plate lifts enough and it pushes that blade back but right there and what it does is since it doesn't lock into place it allows you to find, as he says, the sweet spot, so you're not locked into a certain position. If it's something like on a Gillette adjustable where you've got a two and a three, and you wish, man, I wish there was a two and a half, here you've got two and a half, two and three quarter, two and a quarter. Um, I just said, screw it, I'm gonna tighten it all the way down and did two passes, and I'll tell you one thing, I got the closest damn shave of my life, and it was a damn good shave. Like, I was very impressed. I will now know from now on to back that off a little bit because my face still kind of, kind of tingles a little bit. But you can kind of, that's a much better shot right there. You can see as I'm tightening that, makes an adjustment, gets further or closer away. And then one thing else I also wanted to mention too, and it's funny because I didn't notice it until I actually did more research on it, that this big channel up here where these open combs are, it really seems to hold a lot of lather and water. It's like self-lubricating too, which is kind of cool. You don't get that with the other one. I noticed it without even reading it in his description first. So yeah, right on there, Doug. I've got to find something wrong just because that's who I am. If I had to say something, I love the texture on here. I just wish it was a little more texture to it. Like, there's more look to it than actual feel. It's not bad, and being so light, you don't really have to worry about holding on to it, but I would have maybe liked just a little more grippiness to it. The way you can get in there and do it is amazing with it. This will definitely be one of my main razors in rotation. Good job, Doug, and the team. I can tell you put a lot of hard work into it. I do recommend this. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Um, this is your shave again. I will be back in a few days with probably a new soap review. Don't forget, you can still buy uh, Jefferson from Strike Gold Shave if you use the uh, coupon code Best Friend. I'll leave it down in the description too with this video, along with a link. If you're interested in buying this razor, it's been a pretty hot seller, but uh, definitely check them out. So once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.